welcome to this video and in this video I wanted to have a look at starburst galaxies so what are starburst galaxies so we might be familiar with like spiral galaxies elliptical galaxies things like that but what is a starburst galaxy well first spiral galaxies fairly obvious they have spiral arms which make them stand out really they have a reasonable amount or lots of gas in them they have populations of young blue stars so you can see from this image here of this spiral galaxy they've got lots of blue stars in there they have a spiral arm structure um, the reason why they have lots of young blue stars is that they have gas so they have star formation basically they have recent star formation in order to form these young blue stars as the spiral galaxies age though then the population would get redder and the gas would be depleted but a general spiral galaxy is going to have generally gas it's going to have more blue stars and, and elliptical for example so then you get star formation which happens in the spiral arms they're fairly easy to spot really because of their shape um, so the stars form in these giant molecular gas clouds which typically collapse in the spiral arms so here we go you've got a nice blue star in the orion nebula which would have formed in this gas cloud and this is fairly typical for spiral galaxies obviously as they age and evolve that gas gets depleted because it turns into stars and over time you have less and less gas now elliptical galaxies they don't have any current star formation or recent star formation there's no gas in there so they can't actually form any new stars and they have populations of red stars and then the most obvious things, they don't have spiral arms. They're fairly smooth looking. So these are older objects. They're more spherical shaped. So you have these elliptical galaxies and spiral galaxies. But where do starburst galaxies fit in with these two main types? Well, we kind of know that spirals evolve into elliptical galaxies through merging. So you'll have spiral galaxies will collide. And over time, that depletes all the gas, loses their spiral arms, they end up as elliptical galaxies and a bit more spherical. So merging spiral galaxies will evolve into elliptical galaxies. But as the galaxies collide, there's a kind of an intermediary stage where you get irregular galaxies. So these are galaxies that are tidally distorted, they are twisted, they have unusual shapes, and these are known as irregular galaxies. And you can see an example there. Now, what happens during this process is that large amounts of gas that was in the spiral galaxies collapses all at once. So normally in a spiral galaxy that's not gravitationally disturbed, you get the star formation, you know, they go through the spiral arms, the gas collapses, you get stars forming. But during a merge of two spiral galaxies, a lot of that gas collapses all at once. So then you have a sudden burst of star formation. And you can see the red regions in that image. These are ionized gas. And the ionized gas comes from basically new stars forming in these nebulas that then kind of back illuminate them. So you have these bright like ionized hydrogen regions. And then there's lots of blue as well. Because actually those gas clouds that are collapsing form large amounts of blue stars. So you have huge amounts of these blue stars being formed because they gravitationally distorted, disturbed, which causes the collapse. So lots of blue stars forming. And some examples of starburst galaxies or images can be seen here. So these are galaxies that have been merging and you can see there's lots of blue in there, which indicates there's lots of new young blue stars. Again, you've got two few galaxies here, lots of blue in these galaxies suggesting they've undergone a, a, a very large increase in the amount of star formation compared to what would have happened in a spiral galaxy and again you can see all of those blue stars in these two interacting galaxies so this starburst galaxy is a result of galaxies interacting they don't necessarily have to have a direct merger but they will gravitationally interact with each other and distort each other to the point where they will cause a gravitational collapse of gas internally, which causes a spike in the star formation. So thank you for watching. And if you enjoy, you can check out some of the other videos.